Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year to you all. It's been a long time since I made a video on here, like a week. <laughs> That's a long time. But life has been lifing. January has just been tough since I got back from England. This is going to be the first vlog of the year. It's Saturday morning. I just got back from a social run in Eindhoven. Woke up this morning a little late because I slept late as well, just trying to relax from Friday. And then this weekend, I'm going to be just studying. This weekend is all about studying, coaching, studying, coaching, maybe go to the gym and get back to it because I have an exam on Wednesday which is my last but one exam in medical school. So I'm trying to like, I don't have to pass it, but I'm trying to pass it. Like I really want to pass all the exams. I want to finish strong. So I just go out from running now. Gonna go buy my laptop real quick because those of you who have been following me for a while, you know my other laptop, the battery is dead now, but the screen like glass fell in. I'm going to show you guys glass, like my water bottle fell on it and the screen like cracked, but I could still see and use half of it. But now it's just like, I use it for like five minutes and the screen just goes dark on me. Try to connect to my tablet, that didn't work out that well. So I'm gonna to try to get a new laptop now, then get back, I have a coaching session first, then study for a few hours, go to the gym maybe, then come back, work again a bit, study, and then have another coaching session in the evening. So I'm just gonna show you guys what the days look like, or what my weekend look like. This is gonna be a weekend vlog. So I'm gonna show you guys Saturday and Sunday, just in my life while I'm studying for exams and doing pretty much not that much else. First things first, let's go buy this laptop and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Just got back now and I got him. This thing is heavy. This bad boy here. We are updating. So this is the MacBook Pro 16 inch because I had a I had a 14 inch. So this is what the screen looks like. And my water bottle fell on this part. So like the whole screen just so now it's on. So I could only use this part of the screen. And then like, okay, now it's loading. But after I use it for like five minutes, it will just go off like the screen will just go dark and you know the thing is still working because the the touch bar is on and functioning but the screen just goes off and that really disturbed my flow because i couldn't edit videos i couldn't work efficiently i couldn't read stuff i couldn't like use the under part of my macbook i could like move the bar to the side but there's a lot of inconveniences so i also upgraded to a bigger screen because i'm going to be doing a lot of work on my computer the coming months the coming years and i was planning to buy a bigger screen eventually but not now but since this happened i was like okay i might just get a bigger one it's really expensive so it cost me like a fortune um but yeah i remember the times for getting a new laptop was just so exciting like whoa the smell the sound and everything but now it's just like i need this thing like functional wise i need this thing my, my work is going to be on here and stuff like that so it's just there's stuff that's exciting of course i'm happy to be upgrading and finally have a laptop again that functions well but the excitement of getting a laptop like it was before she's less but yeah this it is uh, let's unbox it i'm back in the game now have a functioning device i have a coaching session starting in like 12 minutes gonna make the zoom link real quick send to her and then um, after the coaching session study and see what the rest of the day brings but yeah let's get it Just finished um, coaching session. Well, I finished like 30 minutes ago. Started studying already. So I'm studying for a pharmacology exam, it's like the uh, medicine medication safety exam at the end. You don't have to pass the exam. You can just reflect if you don't pass, but I really want to pass the exam like I've already said. And the coaching session was great. It was just this one student who is trying to, is Moroccan, living in France, trying to get into medicine and had a lot of questions. So I just helped her navigate the process and at the end we eventually decided that it was not a wise idea to apply for med school now. She was better off waiting for like next year and then having more structure in her thoughts and then also like figuring out the tuition fee before applying. So now I'm just going to study. I've already studied like the most part of it. So I'm going to finish this part. It's an exam which requires you to like cram a lot of stuff where my education in Cameroon comes in handy because we learn how to cram. But um, I still have a few pages left. Going to study this. Then maybe go to the gym, come back, start doing practice questions. And then tomorrow it will just be like revising stuff I forgot. And then Monday, Tuesday evenings will all be like practice questions, practice questions. Hopefully Wednesday I'm ready to go. But yeah, let's go for it. All right, studying goal for the first part is done. It's about 2.20 now, so I'm going to bike to the gym for well, like 20 minutes to get there. Then I have like a one hour, 10 minutes workout session because the gym closes at 4, so I can only go now. And I'm going to come back. I have four more chapters left, and those are like shorter chapters, so I should be able to get them done. I have one more coaching session in the evening for which I have to proofread some stuff to help them with. So hopefully I have enough time to do that while finishing the chapter, so tomorrow I can start with like revision and questions and stuff like that. But so far, so good. So let's go to the gym now, come back, and then prepare.
Hey guys, so I went to the supermarket today to get my salad, my regular, and something just told me, no, don't do that. Cook something for yourself. So I came home and I made food for myself and I'm going to eat and someone just decided to show up. Uh, <laughs> that was a nice surprise. So we're going to catch up, eat, and then I have my coaching session in like two hours. So he has to be out of here by then. And then after that, I'm going to study. So I'm going to study after that. And then I'm going to make sure I watch a movie this night. A good movie, sit down, chill. And watch a movie because you know what being intentional about leisure time things that just i don't necessarily gear towards a particular goal the goal is to relax but just you know not that productive so yeah for now let's eat Sian just left, I have dishes to wash, laundry to do, and I have a coaching session in like 40 minutes. And this coaching session is to help this guy with essays for the selection into medicine. And I haven't read the essays yet, so I have to proofread the essay. So I'm going to sit down now, do that first. And then after this coaching session, about 9 o'clock, I can um, do the dishes, do the laundry, and then finish up my study. Yeah, guys. Hey, the day is like good stuff, but it's just like stuff coming in between. But yeah, let's get to it. Coaching session, check. Dishwashing, check. Laundry, check. Let's get back to story. Yo guys, what's up? Good morning. It's about 9.35. Um, woke up this morning at like 9.30, 8.30, sorry. Uh, sat down to study a bit the last two chapters I have texted a friend of mine when does church start he said 9 30 and by that time it was like 9 12 I was like, oops gotta prepare real quick to go to church so I'm gonna head up now head to church service should be like till 12 then I come back study for like two hours then go to the gym then get some other stuff done I have to get a parcel delivered um, get some groceries then a few coaching sessions later in the evening as well so let's go to church first then the rest will be figured out later <laughs> raining or it's snowing but it feels like it's snowing yep definitely snowing hey guys so it's it's exactly 2 p.m whoa on the dot I just finished the parts, like I finished all the chapters, so um, there was actually one chapter I didn't see, so there was one more chapter than I expected, but I finished all that now, just going to reply my TikTok, WhatsApp messages, Instagram messages real quick, and then head to the gym, have like a one hour, 30 minute session, then come back. Guys, lately, I don't know, just replying messages, like keeping up, because lately I've been also getting really heavy on TikTok, just like posting separate, like different kind of content on TikTok than I post on YouTube or Instagram. Just content more for people living in the Netherlands, people who are struggling with moving here, people who are trying to find the career paths and stuff like that. Trying to get more into that coaching role, especially on TikTok, because TikTok has a unique ability to find the people that you need to find. So when I post something about struggling in the Netherlands as a medical student or as an international student or as an African student, TikTok has a very unique way. The algorithm has a unique way of finding the people who have similar struggles and who need to hear that. And that's what I need at this point to like get more people to know that my coaching services 
um, exist so they can also like get in touch with me and as a result of this i've been getting a lot of dm some of them emotionally taxing via tiktok to just like you know have random calls for them to like vent a lot of people just want to vent or just like set up coaching sessions i've had i think like 10 people in the last four weeks from tiktok alone and that's because i'm not really like pushing out that much content so when i have the time to push out more it's going to get more but i already noticed now it's getting difficult for me to like you know reply to all my messages as fast as i would want to so i have to like schedule times to sit down and say okay this is my message replying session like 30 minutes reply them or 15 minutes if i don't have that much time reply as much as i can and then keep going so that's what i'm going to do now and then head to the gym and then come back afterwards start doing practice exam questions cook and then continue the studying. Guys, one thing I've noticed about the gym is this thing is becoming for me, if anything, more of a mental game than a physical game. Because my workout today was like 50 minutes max. Like I could easily miss this workout. But it was just the idea of not going you know the ripple effects not going is gonna have and i feel like that's something which i've learned the more i do it sometimes at the gym okay there's physical benefits that's for sure but the mental benefits sometimes far outweigh the physical benefits and i'm loving it so sometimes you're thinking of missing your workout because it's going to be short or it's going to be like 15 minutes sometimes it doesn't matter because it's all about the consistency and building that mental resilience and that mental fortitude because whether it's 15 minutes 30 minutes two hours it's all about showing up and being consistent yes. do you know what pure joy is going to get something and then the exact same thing you want you find it one plus one free eight plus eight gratis that right there is real joy All right, so I just um, took a nap, quick nap, so I cleaned my room, put the clothes in, took a quick nap, woke up, had some dinner, and now I'm back um, to do the practice questions. So I'm going to do, hopefully, both practice questions that are available online, and then see what else I can do after that, and then call it a day, because tomorrow morning I'm going to either start editing this vlog or uh, studying more for the exam. But we'll see what tomorrow morning brings after my run, or before the run. But yeah, for now... Let's go do more practice questions. Guys, so I've been telling you guys about, I just told you guys about the random calls I've been having now, or like people I've been meeting on TikTok who like ask to just speak and vent and call. And this is one of those people from Cameroon. Um, I don't know if she's ever going to watch this video, but she just reached out to me on TikTok. Uh, young Cameroonian, 23, year, 23 years old, she wants to just talk about dilemma she's having. So she sent me like a long text um, on TikTok, like a long explaining her whole situation about a dilemma to move abroad or not to move abroad. Is this selfish? All these questions she has. So I was like, okay, let's just hop on a call, talk about this thing because I couldn't answer all that on text. It was just a lot of questions I had, things I wanted to clarify. So I just told her, you know what, I have time on Sunday evening, let's hop on a quick call. And she was like, yeah. So we just called now on WhatsApp and just hearing her articulate her thoughts and everything. It was less than, I think I called her like 8, 5? To 820 now so it's less than 15 minutes for the call but just seeing how people sometimes just need affirmation and like just need another person to say what you're thinking about is not crazy and it's okay to think and it's okay to want these things for yourself it's crazy man and i feel like doing this and just having these conversations with people i really don't take for granted like the amount of energy i get from doing this like just having this conversation with people i don't know i'm, I'm probably never gonna meet this girl probably never gonna know how what she eventually decides and how that impacts her life but just the fact that I was able to reassure her with certain things and just let her know that it's okay to think these things and she's not crazy for wanting these things for herself. And it's not crazy to think out of the box and it's not crazy to want things which no one else seems to want or things which don't make sense for many other people. That's something which is powerful. And that's, that's why I do this. That's why I share my story so other people can relate, can also like, you know, feel empowered and stuff. That is cool. So that was the coaching session for today. That was a cool, like I feel, I feel pumped. That was a cool coaching session. Um, going to keep studying now. Uh, the practice questions have been going good so far. Going to keep studying and then see what else the rest of the evening has to offer. But that was, that was a nice call. I don't know if you ever watched this video. That was a nice call. Thank you for that call. Yo.
Yo guys, so it's about 11.15 now, um, just finished the practice questions, went better than I expected, but I know I have to like revise a lot of stuff, because guys, it's really, have you ever studied and you felt like you forgot half of what you studied, even though you just studied it yesterday? It's a lot of cramming, you need to do a lot of cramming for this exam, so you have to like constantly revise the stuff and like just mem like keep seeing it as often as you can, so it's fresh in your memory. So I'm going to just keep, I've done all the practice questions that are available. I'll just keep revising the stuff, so like reading it over and over again. Hopefully it sticks better. And if I find more practice questions, then that's even great. But for now, I just also studied like um, some stuff. I was trying to study seizures, so I just did that as well. I'm gonna send a few text messages now, emails, and then transfer the videos from this vlog to my computer so I can start editing tomorrow morning uh, before I go for my run. That's what I'm gonna do. But for now, I'm gonna call it a day, um, retire, and tomorrow is Monday, and start the week on a good note. That has been it guys for my weekend. This was how a weekend looks like in my life when um, I have exams the next week. Um, hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you enjoyed this vlog, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. It helps the video reach more people as well. Subscribe if you like the videos I make. If you want to stay updated with the videos that are going to be coming up. Until next time, stay blessed and peace.